Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a website to sell services online using Wix. Once you are on Wix.com, you can sign up using your email address. You don't need a credit card or anything like that. All you'll need is your email address and from there, you can create an account and simply fill in a password. After you have done that, you will be redirected to a page just like this. And I want you to tap on create new site in the top right hand corner. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can simply type in the type of business or website that you would like to create. So let's say, for example, we want to create a consultation website. So we could simply tap on consultant right there. And by the way, feel free to type in whatever type of website that you would like to create, as I will be showing you the plugin to simply add for services. So you're going to tap on next. After you have done that, you can name your website. But first, it will redirect you to their dashboard. Just give it a few seconds. And then from there, I'll show you how to name your website and also how to add the service features business so I can type in right there simple consultant so I'm going to do that real quick then what's your business address you'll enter the business address right there after you're finished you're going to tap on next then you can select your working hours after you have done that you're going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner so let's say, for example, I'm open five days a week, Monday to Friday. And from there, I can choose the opening time. So my business is open from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. So I'll select that right there. So you can see that I'm definitely putting in the work. And then I'm going to tap on next to the bottom right hand corner. And from here, you can select the services that you would like to offer. So depending on the type of website that you typed in that you would like to create, you can see a demo of the different services that the system expects you to offer. So because I selected consultation, you can see brand consulting, introductory consultation, marketing consulting. So you can select any one of these or all of them. And you can also edit them by tapping on the pencil right here. You'll be able to edit it. And if you don't see the services that you plan on offering, you could tap on create new service. After you have done that from there, you could enter the service name, the appointment type, and you can enter the payment type and the location right there. Then you'll simply tap on save. But let's say, for example, I will be offering a few of these services. So I'll simply tap on the ones that I'll be offering right here. After you have done that, you're going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. Then from here, you can add your staff members by tapping on add new staff member. Then tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. After you have done that, you can see different features that you can add to your business. So would you like to offer virtual sessions? Yes, I'd like to do that. Would you like to sync your personal Google, Apple or Outlook calendar? More than likely, you're going to be selecting that. If you'd like to accept online payments, which I definitely recommend you do, you can tap right there. And if you'd like to send automated emails and SMS reminders, you can select this. And this is definitely a good feature for customer service. So I do recommend that you select send automated emails and SMS reminders. And if you like to manage the on go with Wix owner app, you can do that. So you can tap right there if you want. Then you're going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. Then tap on continue to dashboard. Once on continue to dashboard, I'll show you how to set up the different payment options and also how to manage your booking calendar and so on. Okay, so this is your website dashboard as you can see right here. Now all you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option. Once on the left hand menu option, you'll see booking services. From there, you can select your booking calendar. 
So from here, if we were to select calendar, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you can add different stuff to your calendar and you'll also be able to see the different bookings that you have. You can view them right there. And if you like to manually add a session, so you could do that by tapping on add sessions. Then from there, you can tap on appointment right here. And if you'd like to block times, so you can tap on blocked times right there. You can also add staff by tapping on staff from the left hand menu option. And you can also select booking apps to view the different booking apps. So you can add new staff members right here by tapping on add new staff member. And you can go over to the left hand menu option once more. And from there, if you'd like to create, for instance, gift cards or loyalty referrals, you can do that. And that is the beautiful thing about the Wix platform. They offer you numerous features that will allow you to create a professional looking website with numerous services, even as a complete beginner. And also, if you would like to get into marketing and SEO, you can do that by selecting marketing right here. From here, you'll be able to use email marketing. You can run Google ads and everything on the Wix platform. The only thing is to get access to these features, you'll need to be on the paid plan. And to set up the different payment options that you'd like to offer, you're going to select billing and payments. Then from there, you're going to select payments. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this dashboard and you're going to tap on manage payment methods. Once on manage payment methods, from there you can add PayPal, you can add Tilopay, and you can add different payment options. And by the way, these payment methods will vary depending on the country that you're in. So for instance, if I were to tap on connect PayPal, all I'll need to do is enter my PayPal login and from now on, whenever a customer goes onto my website to book a consultation, they'll be able to do that through PayPal. You can also scroll down from the left hand menu option right there. And if you, for example, you'd like to add any apps that you don't see on your Wix website, you can simply select apps and tap on app market right there. And you can also select booking channels. So for instance, if I were to select booking channels right here, you can see I can use these different social media platforms right here. Now, once you have done all of that, it is now time to set up your website theme. So to set up your website theme, you're going to go back and you're going to tap on set up right here. After you have tapped on set up, you're going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner. So we have basically set up the background of our website is it is now time to set up how our website appears. So you're going to tap on customize a designed template. We're going to tap on pick a template. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page and you can see numerous templates that you can choose from. So you can scroll down and you can select a template of your liking as you can see right here. I will be selecting this template for example. All I'll need to do is tap on edit. Once you have tapped on edit, you're going to give it a few seconds while the AI composes your website in the background. From here, you could choose for the AI to write content for your website. So you could type in the type of website that you're creating and then tap on create site text and it will come up with some content for your website. But because of the time I don't want to do that as I don't want this tutorial to be drawn out so I'm going to tap on the X right there now this is how your website looks at the moment to add something to your website you can go over to the left hand menu option tap on add elements by tapping on add elements you will get access to all of these features you can choose to add text image button anything at all that you like to add to your website you can do that by going over to the left hand menu option and tapping on the plus in the top left hand corner. And with Wix, it is quite easy to edit any section at all on your website. For instance, if you would like to edit this section right here, 
let's say for example i wanted to change the name from hannah clark all i'll need to do is tap on quick edit after i've tapped on quick edit you can see a pop-up menu option on the right hand column right here and depending on which section I use the mouse to hover over, you can see a blue block over it, so I can change any section. To change the title, all I would have to do is simply tap on the current title. Then from there, I could type in whatever I want right there, as you can see right here. And after you have done that, you can scroll down. If I wanted to change the site background, I can do that. If I wanted to change the current image, I could do that also. After you have made all of the changes, you'll tap on X in the top right hand corner. And you can continue scrolling down and you can change everything on this page. And if you'd like access to the other pages to start editing them, you can go over to the top left hand corner, tap right where you see home. Then you are going to see all of the pages that are currently on your website. So you can tap on services and you will see the different services that you currently offer and you can make your editing changes right here. You can go over to the top left hand corner once more and from there you could edit the service page. So let me tap on service page real quick. You can see this is the service page at the moment. So you can scroll down and you can see how it looks. If you would like to edit the service page, again, you can do that quite easily by simply hovering over the section. You could tap on manage services and you'll be able to edit the service page. But if you had followed me from the beginning, you won't need to do this as you would have already set up the different opening time and your price and so on. And so on. So all you'll need to do now is tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on save, Wix will offer you a free domain name and you can simply tap on save and continue. Once you have tapped on save and continue, you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner once more and your website will now be live. And you'll be able to share your website URL for persons to come on it and book your service. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.